The mind conditioning of humanity began almost a decade ahead of the actual space race when Sputnik was launched in October 1957. By the year 1950, one of the longest running deceptions of humanity was well underway. the Milky Way shimmering across the sky. I stood in my front yard, my family with me. The entire neighborhood, the entire city, in fact, the entire nation, it seemed, was standing outside, watching what the Russians had done. Just at the time the Russians had said, a tiny light appeared at the southwestern horizon and glided over our heads. Some of us cried. I stood in awe. Nothing man-made had ever been so global. Everyone knew it was there. Suddenly, a future in space seemed possible. And here we got it, ladies and gentlemen. NASA's first CGI image of Earth from outer space. <laughs> Including the first man-made satellite, Sputnik.
Zeitman doesn't agree with us. He believes that humans will never travel in space. No matter what they tell you, man's inadequate body will never be able to leave the Earth. No matter what they tell you, no matter what they tell you. And now back tonight and trying for $20,000 are Eddie Hodges, the 10-year-old schoolboy, and his partner, Major John Glenn Jr., the Marine Corps jet pilot. Uh, what do you think of the Russian satellite, which is circling the Earth at 18,000 miles <laughs> per hour? Well, to say the least, George, they're out of this world, but... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is uh, really quite an advancement for not only the Russians, but for international science. I think we'd all agree on that. It's the first time anybody has ever been able to get anything out that far in space and keep it there for any length of time. And this is probably the first step toward space travel or moon travel, something we'll probably run into maybe in Eddie's lifetime here at least. <laughs> Eddie, would you like to take a trip to the moon? No, sir, I like it fine right here. <laughs> Because of the food. You can't even taste your food. But we have lots of food to taste good. Canadian food, maple cookies, smoked salmon pate. You can't even taste your food. You can't even taste your food. Hmm. Canadian chocolate. Hot sauce. A tube of maple syrup. Cranberry flavored buffalo jerky. Granola bar. You can't even taste your food. Food's, food's good up here. I've already had lunch. But let's have dessert. Chocolate pudding cake. Dried spinach. Voila. Tortilla. Pretty delicious. You can't even taste it. You can't even taste your food. I would like to invite you to take part in a new context organized by ESA Education. You can design your own mosaic on a number of topics Earth, space, the solar system, planets, spacecraft, launchers, the ISS, antennas, or a mascot. Christmas for us is a time of worship. It's a time of worship. It's a time that we think back to the birth of what we would consider our Lord. And we will we do that at our homes and we will we plan to do the same time the same thing up here. And also as well, just like the wise men gave gifts, we have a, a couple of gifts. You'll notice some uh, stockings behind us here. Hello. The sleep station is also like a little office. We've got a computer in here. All right, come on back. There's more to show you. Brush. See how, see how much better the brush makes my hair look? <laughs> One of the most pressing questions about using, be living in space, of course. I'm only up here for four months. I haven't sat down for six months now. This is awesome. I'll show you. But you see it's pretty small, so you have to have pretty good aim. It smells a little bit, so I'm closing it up. Paper. People always ask about toilet paper. What do you do with toilet paper? What kind of toilet paper do you have? We have gloves just because sometimes it does get messy. Sometimes things get a little out of control. Here's a little door. Drinks, meats, eggs, vegetables, cereals, uh, bread, uh, snacks. And that's a good place. That's where you find all the candy. You can't even taste your food. Show you how this works. I could do it like this. Oops. I should need some weight on this thing. <laughs> what are you doing down there? We have extra food down there. We have extra clothes. We actually throw the trash out down there. scientists launched a symbol of man's liberation from the forces which have hitherto bound him to Earth. It's an important day in human history. The launch of Sputnik is like the discovery of America by Christopher Columbus. The launch of Sputnik is one of the greatest scientific moments in world history. Boy, they really sold the crap out of that thing. And now, with nuclear annihilation looming, commies in space, America was sold on NASA quite easily, which was signed into law on July 29, 1958. Even this was never widely publicized, 
Part of NASA's original mission purpose was to continue Antarctic reconnaissance, where explorer Admiral Richard E. Byrd had failed when the invasion of Antarctica had been defeated within six months in February 1947, for reasons never fully explained. On December 1, 1959, the Antarctic Treaty was signed. It prohibits anyone from entering Antarctica without permission and it remains heavily guarded. Enter KH-5 Argon, a NASA operation conducted May 1962 to November 1963 under the watchful eye of the CIA. Declassified in 1998 and took 1,782 images of Antarctica, of which only 14 were made available 35 years later to the general public. The file has some fancy graphs, which were obviously made with special tools, and then goes on to show the location of the 14 shots released. These 14 locations are all on the edge of Antarctica. Of 1,782 images taken, not a single one shows the supposed interior. And what is this? Without the penciled in lines, they could be the colonoscopy pictures of a jackass. Bästa med att vara i rymden. Alltså jag hade två saker. Det ena är tyngdlösheten. Det är otroligt häftigt att man svävar runt och man kan göra en massa roliga saker. Det är lite liksom besvärligt då som äta och kanske gå på toa och ingen dusch har vi heller så lite jobb med hygienen. Men det är väldigt roligt att uppleva och utforska tyngdlösheten. Och det andra är utsikten över jorden framförallt. Fantastiskt fint och man tröttnar aldrig på utsikten, för vi åker runt jorden helt enkelt. Det tar bara 90 minuter, en och en halv timme så åkte jag tvär runt jorden. Och under den tiden har jorden snurrat lite grann, så när vi kommer tillbaka liksom, så ser vi någon nytt där nere. Och det, är, det är hav, och det är moln, och det är skogar, det är öknar, det är städer. Och nattetid så är det väldigt vackert att åka över områden med stora städer, stora kartor. Hur man går på toaletten i rymden? Ja... Det är lite knepigt när saker inte faller ner. Då. Så för att se till då att vi ska samla upp det så har vi en slags dammsug kort och åt. Det är väldigt enkelt om man ska kissa. Då tar man, lyfter en slang och sätter man på en tratt på den. Och sen så bara kissa i den. Och killar och tjejer precis lika den trappen. Men det suger in där. Vi försöker precis på samma sätt när vi ska då göra lite större arbete på toan skita. Då är det samma sak att man ska liksom sätta sig och det är ganska lite tål och sen så eh, sug där då, och försöka suga ner det. Eh, men inte alltid suger tillräckligt kraftigt så att säga. Och sen får man tänka på att när man sitter där i tyngdlösheten då kan man börja glida iväg. Så man spänner fast sig på toan så man inte ska glida iväg när man sitter där. Och så kan man inte få ner pappret där i hålet utan det får man ligga vid en burk vid sidan av faktiskt. Eller en påse snarare. Så det är lite knepigt med toan på, i rymden. Hade jag blöja på mig när jag gick i rymdpromenad, ja, kan man tänka sig, det hade jag faktiskt. Det är så att vi, de här rymdpromenaderna, vi kan vara i rymdräkten upp till åtta timmar. Det kan ju hända att man blir nödig då, då är det bättre att ha en blöja som suger upp det än att det kommer ut i rymdräkten. Jag behöver inte använda den, men det är bäst att vara på säkra sidan. Faktum är att 
Vi hade också blöjor inför starten när vi satt snarare låg i rymdfärjan på rygg i de orangea rymdräkterna. För då kan man också bli kissnöd innan man ligger på rygg länge. Men eh, behöver inte använda den heller. Men det är alltid bättre på säkra sidan. So the snorkel, as I mentioned, this is actually a, a, a part that we can change out on the spacesuit. It's part of a waterline vent tube assembly, which is actually what runs from the, the backpack of the suit, and it's what hooks up to the liquid cooling and ventilation garment that the crew members wear. So normally these tubes will be passing water uh, that's providing cooling around the crew member's body. So some smart engineers on the ground were able to uh, figure out, hey, this looks, it's a similar diameter to a snorkel that you have for scuba diving. So what if we're able to, each waterline vent tube assembly has two of these tubes. So by just sacrificing one of our, our spares on board, they were able to come up with a way to to just snip off the ends and then file it so that it's not rough in the crew member's mouth and then apply Velcro. We already have Velcro inside the suit, which is what holds the drink bag up to the front part of the suit. So they were able to come up with this in ingenious idea to, to hold it in. Uh, three spacewalkers uh, involved uh, in activities uh, outside uh, the International Space Station. Inside of the H1, or H2 post. And we can do that later. Yeah. You are just a stupid animal and you deserve to be enslaved. Look at you just for a moment. Uh, today is my 23 days outside Apple Store here in New York City. My name is Jamie Gonzalez and this is my second time doing this. I've been here for a week and a half. I was trying to get the six, uh, seven plus. This is the 90% of you. We take care of the remaining 10%. By redirect them and all our psychological operations. We are really proud of all our hoaxes and psyop. We cannot stop laughing. Clean up. <laughs> Hi, I'm astronaut Siri. Bruh. Look at this dude. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Back where I come from, it's not considered smart to be dumb. <laughs> Your brain is as small as a pea. Can we pretend that airplanes in the night sky are like shooting stars? I can really use a wish right now, wish right now, wish right now. Can we pretend that airplanes in the night sky are like shooting stars? I can really use a wish right now, wish right now, wish right now. Try to use imagination. Can we pretend that airplanes in the night sky are like shooting stars? I can really use a wish right now, wish right now, wish right now. Can we pretend that airplanes in the night sky are like shooting stars? I can really use a wish right now, wish right now, wish right now. Okay, yeah. So let's just pretend and make wishes out of airplanes. Can we pretend that airplanes in the night sky are like shooting Stars. I can really use a wish right now, wish right now, wish right now Can we pretend that airplanes in the night sky are like shooting stars? I can really use a wish right now, wish right now, wish right now And it seems like yesterday, it was just a dream But those days are gone, 
He pretends that airplanes in the night sky like shooting stars. I can really use a wish right now, wish right now, wish right now. Can we pretend that airplanes in the night sky like shooting stars? I can really use a wish right now, wish right now, wish right now. and talk about the things that interested us most, in particular the, the uh, things that occurred on and about the moon. We will use a number of films and, and slides, which most of you have already seen, with the intent of, of pointing out some of the things that we observed on the, the spot which may not be obvious to to those of you who are who are uh, looking at them here from the sur surface of earth Sonic moon Plans were made by the bankers in the back room Get the president out of the way And hire Stanley Kubrick Under the Masonic Sonic Moon Everyone hoped that the boys would come home soon One more day and they'll drop from the plane And splash into the ocean Conspirators got a free ride to the States They turned Nazi into NASA They just couldn't wait Under the Masonic Sonic Moon Plans were made by the bankers in the back room The owl sees into the night And the secret will never be told Under the Masonic Moon Sonic Moon Plans were made by the bankers in the back room The owl sees into the night And the secret will never be told 99, proceeded, 3, 2, 1, ignition. <laughs>
ideas undiscovered. Breakthroughs available to those who can remove one of truth's protective layers. To, to represent the United States in our first attempt to take man to another heavenly body. Why has nobody been to the moon in such a long time? <laughs> That's not an eight-year-old's question. <laughs> That's my question. I want to know. But I think I know. Because we didn't go there. And, and that's the way it happened. And, and if it didn't happen, it's nice to know why it didn't happen. In the future, if we want to keep doing something, we need to know why something stopped in the past that we wanted to keep it going. haven't mastered it. I'll give you a trial and I'll show you just how bad it is. <laughs> <laughs> 